decided to make a short video. It seems like some of you might be interested in this kind of stuff. Basically, uh, found this guy free on the side of the road. A friend of mine did. I picked it up and I uh, mowed it with it last year. Uh, had a deck and everything worked fine. <clears throat> the, uh, I liked it so much because of the small wheels front and back. These are uh, 16, 6, 5 in the back and 13, 5 in the front. I think it's the smallest chassis, smallest tire size, so to speak, for kind of a full size mower. <clears throat> but um, I don't know much about them, don't, don't think I'm an expert. <laughs> but um, I just like the uh, small, small tire lock. Um, decided to pretty much just I sold my other mower I had a lifted one not a lifted one just just a stock height and all but decided to try something new and uh, start working on this I flipped the trans so to gain maximum um, I guess that the lower it as much as possible I flipping the trans seems to be the best option so I flipped the trans and I think it gives you like eight inches right off the bat and I kept my pulleys and all you just flip the trans this way that's all you do and it works fine it works as it should once it's driving don't flip don't don't twist nothing just flip it as is so if some of the linkages are different obviously you change the brake and all but nothing nothing too crazy <clears throat> and it gives you eight inches so all my pulley set up in the clutch everything works the same um, so I don't have I didn't have to come up with something crazy for a clutch. I added a little um, idler um, so it kind of locks it in place and then it releases it more easily. So the belt, a uh, little bigger belt. So when I lock it, you know, with with, with the clutch out, um, it locks it so nice and tight that it doesn't slip. But when I you know press the clutch, it releases it so so much of it as well. So it's it slips on the pulleys and it's not trying to kind of you know jerk and drive it forward uh, being trying to brake and it's still kind of trying to pull you forward in gear so <clears throat> that's kind of one of the annoying things you want to get the some of the clutching I guess um, wrong uh, so 8 inches uh, all the um, uh, you know pulley mechanism all the stay the same and I used this fella I used uh, my favorite tool of all again, rev nuts on both sides so the hood doesn't rattle, doesn't come off or anything because it trimmed so much off of it. And uh, trimmed so much off of it that it's it otherwise be loose. And also, if you notice that it doesn't come up, this is where it's supposed to sit. So the hood, actually, the end of the hood, it's supposed to be a little higher, but to get that, you know, low look, so to speak, I actually lowered the front of it a little. So there it is. <laughs> That's as much as it opens. And I had to trim a lot of the fenders, the hood, I mean, uh, for the tire clearance. So it's a stock 12.5, uh, ungoverned. And, uh, oh, there's a problem. Ungoverned... Uh, I probably just drew a few holes for the intake uh, and the carburetor. I hadn't I honestly never never even touched the carburetor. And I had a muffler in there, not enough room, so I kind of made an antler like that, shooting straight down. It makes all sorts sorts of funny popping noises and sounds cool. And uh, let's see what else. Suspension is all. Uh, front has been redone completely. The back, there's really not much to it, just solidly mounted and braced and all. I did it <coughs> bracing right here and under the seat as well because I had to cut out so much of the frame. I might just add photos I took, pictures, but I probably won't. <laughs> but I braced it because it would just flex so much. I grabbed the rear and tried to twist it, the whole frame twist because it's just a stand steel. It's nothing, nothing crazy. So, uh, and you also notice this guy, um, that's a full, um, just a bicycle piece, works really nice. A lot of people use the, the hand throttle on the steering wheel, same thing out of a bicycle. I, 
I don't know, I've had the same setup on my other mowers and it seems to be working good and I'm used to it and just kind of that car feel, I guess. So the front suspension I can't see but uh, I don't want to take the hood off. Pretty much I just made my own front piece. This goes all the way down. And, uh, one and a half by two and a half or three all the way across <clears throat> just to give it another eight inches because I lowered it kind of evenly the frame is uh, off the ground three and a half inches and this is the lowest point I think at two and a half or something like that some of the linkages you'll see they're, they're lower maybe you can't see some of the linkages are actually lower than that so ideally there's probably about a ground uh, about an inch of ground clearance so I just cut spindles right right like that off of the original actually not original original was kind of twisted and, and, and broken um, out of uh, my hoard pile I just grabbed another spindle cut them off and welded right to it uh, cut these ones off to flip them otherwise they were hitting the engine cylinder hat just little stuff like that so the, the this part wasn't too bad this is how I made my steering arm come out out of a steering box right to the spindle right, in, right up in there and a little bit of bolt so again nothing nothing too crazy just a lot of a lot of little picky stuff and annoying stuff to get it to get it to and these are the rib nuts to get it to, to kind of work and I'm sure it'll, it'll need a little bit more but had to cut the fenders a lot put those handles on those are really handy we uh, me and a couple of bodies we like to race go to a couple of car events and just locally here and or take it to a racetrack as a pit vehicle and, and you know just goofing around and racing and stuff actually turning hard it's you know you don't really have anything to grab onto <laughs> so those things are really really nice and uh, I was going to originally decide to cut this part off and lower it, just kind of slice it up, you know, raise it a little, or get rid of it all together. But I actually kind of like it. Uh, it's kind of a wheelie bar. It's already scraped hard because, I mean, if I'm tw trying to get off the driveway or or uh, in the garage even, this this is the first thing they'll, they'll scrape. So, I'm, you know, I'm not going to bottom out on, on any of the important linkages underneath and they just kind of look like almost a wheelie bar first to second is uh, kind of a hard shift it's a massive it's a nine inch pull in the front <laughs> I'll try to get you a view maybe I can but it's a nine inch pull in the front and three in the back but it's a small small tires and it's a five speed so that's only get you a 42 but I just tested it I went 42 mile an hour but it's it's a little uh, it's a little sketch at the top. I might have to mess with the uh, caster a little in the front, maybe maybe toe in and toe out too. But uh, that was 42, and I wasn't it wasn't the top. I had uh, I was in the fifth, and I wasn't at the limiter too. So there's a little bit more left in it, so to speak. <laughs> but that's that's plenty fast for me. And this is the this is the original uh, gear shifter was over here I just did nothing left of that so I put in instead of a mower the axle same reverse neutral first through fifth and the axle as I actually like it you know cleans it up pretty nice and stuff and that's about it so I'm sure there'll be more videos of us goofing around and racing and stuff should be a, should be a fun tractor